It was a J Cup semifinal, and that's the day I found out. I had been living in Dallas, playing with FC Dallas Academy for two and a half years. I was getting ready to leave for a game when my sister called me. She would never call me before one of my games. Usually my dad would call me before every game and give me a pregame talk, so I thought it was odd. I knew something was wrong, but I didn't know what was wrong. I asked where my mom and dad were and she started breaking down. My seven-year-old brother Dylan was diagnosed with T-cell lymphoma. He had a tumor in his chest which made his lung collapse. I, I didn't know what to say. I kind of just said, I'll call you back later. I just went back in my room and just started crying. And I was just praying and praying, 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 God, God, that's all I said. I didn't know what to feel at that point. I didn't even think about soccer. I didn't want to think about it, I just wanted to make sure he, my brother was okay. He wanted me to play. That's the thing, my parents said, just keep going, just keep going, don't worry about it, he's gonna be fine with us, go back over there. God has him, and I understood. Being away from them um, was tough when he was going through that. I was always traveling, I was always away with national team, uh, FC Dallas with stuff like that. Whenever I could come home, I'd obviously come home and try to see him. And he was in the hospital for like a couple months. I used to ride buses home to come see him. If I had to spend a couple hours in the hospital with him, it was fine with me. If I could be with him and make him feel better, that was my thing, and I know that he wanted me to be here too, but he knew that I had stuff to do over there and try to accomplish my dream too. I just broke down and I was like, I talked to him, I was like, hey, like, you have to understand that we're with you. Like, I know it's a, it's gonna be a long journey, but uh, just never know that you're alone and God's looking over you and we can battle all this together. That's the first thing I think about before every game. Whenever I'm on the field, I know who I have to run for, I know who I have to play for. First thing I do when I walk out is I look in the stands and see where he's at. I try to find him, and I'm uh, I always point at him. I know he loves watching me. He's here every game. Having him still be here with me um, is the happiest time of my life. Coming back here and obviously having all of them back together, it's something I haven't felt for a while. My family has always been close, and after my brother's diagnosis, I had truly cherished them. Coming back to my home city to play professionally with my family in the stands at every home game is a true blessing. <laughs>